when leonard collins returned home from work his loving dog hank was not unusually at the door to greet him in fact there was no joyous barking to be heard nor any tail wagging to be seen instead there was only a note hello wonderful people i'm scott leffler for wonderbot and here is they arrived at home and realized the dog was missing then they saw the note on the door before we begin make sure to smash that like button subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos Collins and his partner Joanne Meadows had owned Hank since he was a puppy and the threesome lived happily together in Belfast Northern Ireland Indeed the couple were so close to their canine companion that Meadows often referred to him as her baby the couple understood that their two-year-old pup was a Staffordshire Bull Terrier Labrador mix, a big dog but all heart. He's so lovable, Meadows told the Belfast Gazette. He has a big grumpy face and I just love it. He was also pretty laid back. After all, Hank mostly spent his days napping, and if he saw a cat while on his infrequent trips outside, he'd likely scamper the other way. But around people, he was all love and cuddles. In fact, Hank was so affectionate that an animal behaviorist was helping the pup to control his hug requests and nuzzles around strangers. So when Hank was taken from his own home, the family were left completely baffled and in utter astonishment. And their confusion only deepened when they read the note. It turned out that the note was left by the police, and Hank was now under the care of Belfast City Council, per a judge's order following the Dangerous Dogs Act. It was explained that someone had reported Hank to the authorities for being a pit bull. The police were therefore legally required to take the dog. Nevertheless, Collins and Meadows were understandably distraught. I can't fathom why anyone would report him. He lazes around for 90% of the day and wants to play the other 10%, Collins told BBC News. He's a very playful dog and is part of our family. My nieces and nephews adore him and my dad loves walking him. But ardent legislation in Northern Ireland deems that pit bulls are an inherently dangerous breed of dog. Therefore, if Hank was identified as a pit bull, the loving pup could face euthanasia without his family even having the chance to say goodbye. So while the council attempted to determine Hank's breed through his physical attributes and demeanor, the couple prepared to battle the decision in court. In fact, they even set up an online petition in a bid to save their pet. This revealed the heartbreaking predicament that Hank needed special medications to treat his allergies and skin condition. All of this has started from one person's opinion, and they won't let me see him, won't tell me where he is Collins told the Belfast Telegraph he's with people he doesn't know in a situation that isn't familiar his intolerance is triggered by food allergies and given a stressful situation that could flare up again a crowdfunding page was also launched to raise funds for Collins and Meadows to pay for a professional to determine Hank's breed and support was so strong for Hank that the couple had surpassed their $20,000 target within two weeks What's more, it only took 14 days for the online petition to receive almost 300,000 signatures in support of Saving Hank. There was a Facebook page too and that quickly clocked up over 80,000 likes. It's no surprise then that the Save Hank campaign captured the media's attention. In fact, the cuddly canine story was covered by seemingly everyone from the Daily Mail to the Dodo. But when the press approached the Belfast City Council regarding Hank's situation, it had little to say to assure his fans. In fact, the council simply stated that Hank was being well looked after and his needs were being met. It added, the dog known as Hank has been taken in for assessment and it would be inappropriate to comment further while this assessment is ongoing. Then on July 28, 2016, Collins and Meadows got the update that they'd been dreading. The council had concluded that Hank was indeed a pit bull terrier type. Luckily, however, Hank's friendly temperament meant that he received an exemption order, which saved him from death. Speaking after the council's decision, Collins and Meadows said that they were relieved and overwhelmed at the prospect of being reunited with their baby. The couple were told that they would have Hank return to them within a week, following a formal hearing. But despite winning their battle, the couple have vowed to keep fighting against breed-specific legislation in Northern Ireland. We're hugely relieved and very overwhelmed, and we just want to get him back now. But we know that we have to go through the formal court hearing before he can be handed to us, Meadows said. They're now looking into how they can use the funds raised for Hank to stop other dogs meeting the same or, more likely, a worse fate. In a rousing statement to accompany an online petition, for instance, Collins pointed out that the continued banning of dogs based on their physical appearance does not solve the problem of aggression. 
What's more, he argued, that the law should punish the deed, not the breed.